All right, what is up gamers? Hope everybody's having a good old Friday evening. It's once again time to dive into more Guilty Gear ACPR FT7 sets. Woke up with some uh, decent amount of hopium for for other games. There were a couple of data mines for for my boy Sin for those later new age bullshit new guilty gears but that's that and today we're gonna play the old game instead today's gonna be an extended rumble in the pre-intermediate bracket of sorts uh, we've got the usual suspects warp tribe zero uh, a couple of rarer treats in the form of Lazarov and Leonard and in addition to that making a comeback after their debut two weeks ago Slack Mage Cliff as well as a whole new face Valkyrie Venom from Russia who's queued up for the first matchup slot today and this I, I think this this skill bracket has always been pretty pretty even between most of these players and pretty eventful as well. We're gonna have uh, most of our event packed with players of rather similar skill level. It's always interesting to see like who's like if, if the pecking order if you would say has changed how maybe the players who haven't played against each other yet but they've played against other players with similar results and even, even though these are sort of kind of like, depending on what your what term you want to use, rookie, uh, pre-intermediate, these, these matchups are still hella entertaining to watch. You don't necessarily need the, the top level play from the Europe. These have been, like some of these uh, rookie matches have actually been some of the best Guilty Gear ACPR matches I've ever casted. Hello there. Howdy, gamer. Welcome to the ga ca 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 cast. Let me add you to the title. It's fantastic into house as well. And then. Why uh, don't you throw me the Discord stream? I guess right, we right, still right. have to do that. Actually, we don't know if we have to do that anymore, but. Yeah, right. we could at some point test if the lobbies can actually harbor additional players. Uh, initially, like I, I think, I think we at one point we did have some extra people in the lobby, and there were some mixed results. But we should definitely yeah, who look. Who knows if it's been fixed? Though yeah. the Discord stream works fine, so I guess it's whatever, really. Right, that said, we have our first competitors in the lobby. Warp from Italy, the ABBA player, late last week. Valkyrie, Venom player from Russia, a whole new face to this humble event. And first no player. Since we've seen a Venom player, I think. Yeah, for the first time I've seen them play personally, so gonna be super interesting. And like, yeah, we we haven't had a whole lot of Venom players. We don't have a whole lot of Venom players in EU overall. Then again, we don't have like any any players uh, or too many of any players being like a, I guess, not the most popular game out there. Although the the um, the scene is still. Alive and relatively thriving. Yeah, you can go online, the quick play lobby, and get games easily. Pretty much whenever. All right, prediction is on. Players are loading. It is showtime.
Venom versus Abba. Another matchup I'm not too sure about. You would imagine Venom has pretty decent control, but I yeah. mean, Abba's always Abba. If you if you can get a couple of good combos in, this is where it starts. Fight Venom not the best on defensive options, so when Abba gets going, just kind of have to hold it. Ooh, nice air throw. The mix up. So far, the damage has been there. Looking for that one more hit with Goku Moroha. Get the jump in. Just went through. Big heavy. Oh. Uh oh. The art burst. But the thing is, the oh, he yeah, actually it's still going. Actually got the big, big downsai out. It kind of it it looks funny always because it's 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 an infinite armor move. So it kind of looks yeah. like you're getting hit, but they're actually powering through. I mean, they are getting hit, but they, they right. really don't care. <laughs> yes. Like that previous round, the momentum can shift very easily. Even if you land like 90% of the opponent's health as Abba, you get knocked down and that's it. You're out. Alright, refreshing the gauge. And looking that pretty good. Yeah, yeah, there's some... Clean comboing there from Warp for sure. Yeah. I wonder if uh, it's always important for these massive damage characters to be able to pull off your combos. I wonder if Venom is like on the easier side for Abba to combo or not. Not sure. Because that was. You know, Abba doesn't really care too much, mm -hmm. seeing how big they're. Buttons are when they're in the mode. Right. Oh, get strong. Knocked down. Fight the nice end on time. Ooh. Okay, needs one more. Oh, got a knockdown. Warp desperately needs to refresh the gauge here. They have the meter to pull out the humor, huh? And they should get yep. it there, yeah. Combo into it. Beautiful. Oh, drops it, but once again, Happy goes over accidents. the button. Yeah, feed on the It's the best thing when you throw up the opponent a little bit of a bone, drop your combo, and then they're like, ah, finally, I get out. But then you're in a perfect position to actually freeze at them. Round start, key grab. Warp definitely nice loves that. There. Yo, another really crisp one. Warp has been pretty, pretty uh, conscious of that escape from the corner so far. Yeah, activate. Activate. Yeah. Sprint. Plus. Yo! <laughs> Just skip over. That's out. That should be there. Yeah. That's pretty burst save the loop. Yo, Water. from that oh, range. Oh, and they're not getting their burst back anytime soon now. What can you not use the key crap actives for? Use that as an anti-air of sorts there. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy tool when you think about it. Oh, that's a knockdown. Needs one more. That should be it. Let's see if they have yeah. that. All right, choosing the knockdown. Hey, Go for the IK. I wonder how much time they would have had there. And I have to look at what kind of knockdown you do the knockdown with. Yeah, for sure. Time. Also depending on your character's IK. Venom's is pretty short range. Warp has no health left. Ooh, there we yeah. go. We'll play Spark Splash. Hope. All right. Valkyrie showing some of their cards. We have what it takes. And in the end, like, Abba kind of does a lot of the job for you in, in terms of her self-damage. So it's not like you, you're gonna need a... You're, you're gonna need too many combos to begin with. Oh, obstacle it's owning, and Warp has, doesn't have the mold on. Oh, nice usage yeah, of the FP escape. 
booty. Gets the first nothing. The one saving crates of the normal mode. I look like Walker has been able to retain a little bit more control this round. Oh, but this jump in. Unblockable? Oh, doesn't oh, go for it this time. Mix up. Guess they were trying to be cautious of dead angle or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really something you gotta be careful with as Abba. Again, that key crap has an angle here. Jesus. I, into the corner. It's strong. Okay, we're so they don't get knocked down. Divide again, plus frames. Yeah, tried to press there, but. I guess it's true. It's some okay damage. Yo, that hurts. Nice. nice if that, that was full combo as well. I'm gonna get knocked. Oh, uh, just completely wasted, unfortunately. Oh, that's a really big counter. Okay, so owning. This is actually a pretty decent position for Valkyrie. Ooh, oh, but, but Ross under. Flip. Wait a second. The low profiled? Seems like it. Yeah, so far, especially in Moroha mode, uh, Warp has had pretty decent, like, success running under some of those balls that you'd think actually hits dashing characters. But I mean, you better have some options with it. Oh my oh, nice goodness. throw. It was kind of nice recognition. Oh, there. nice mix up there. Yeah, the FB. FB overhead. Plus, stupid amount. That's a pretty decent start. Oh, almost well, running right? out. It's gonna run out now. No punish, though. Yeah, might have not just been. It, it, it's, it's another layer to your decision making to be ready for the IK when Abba actually self stuns. Oh, returning with a throw. Nice. nice. Yeah. Blocks, then. If you. If you don't have some sort of a setup, usually like a blood ball, FRC, is it F FRC? Some sort of a blood ball as a as a midi, there will be a gap when you cancel in that unblockable, as far as I know. And Valkyrie taking taking advantage of that, not letting Warp go for it for free. Yeah, it's kind of a reaction check if they just do it. Oh, not this time. Wouldn't that be a surprise if that key card actually hit? Yeah, just clipping the six heavy actives. Spending a 25. The FB nice sting here. Okay, basic <laughs> combo. And in the mode. Or rather, exits the mode. Alright, this is a big throw. Without the balls, Venom doesn't really have a whole lot of ticks to speak, or like legit good tick throws to speak up. But with the balls. Transform into a very, very decent uh, strike throw character. Big swing, six heavy. Max oh, warp out of the sky. Meaty ball, it's completely. Yeah, that's a throw. Right, first knockdown. Second Stops one. The downside, I think. Let's see. Did I get the. Their plus. Oh, Yo, still get. What? From behind! I mean, shouldn't shouldn't be uh, surprised about Abba's buttons anymore, especially those heavy ones. Yeah, we're not even gonna get the burst back. That was all Valkyrie. Then I was at play, doing work. Yeah, one one of those knockdowns from Valkyrie is starting to look pretty pretty dangerous, especially if combined with Warp being in double-edged mode already. But on the other hand, Warp has found pretty decent success. Just air dashing in with Moroha active. Enemy burst. It's knocked down. Uh -oh. Should be a second knockdown. Yeah, Warp doesn't and have this burst. this is the third one. Oh! Let's take that card. Oh, it's... Screener. The hero, and that's a free combo. 
Right, this will be a lot of work to... Oh, you! Oh, yeah. Hit Hitbox? Hope's still alive! Oh, oh too far away. far away! And I'm kind of a teen boy. And again, that preemptive 6 heavy. Catching warp out of that air dash. Alright, nice. The OTG crab. Here we this go. time from throw. Mm, big Let's one. Big counter hit. At least I get the corner. Another counter hit. Activate. It's looking really bad for Valkyrie. Very close to stun. That's the combo, unfortunately, but. Valkyrie getting their burst back as well, but I wonder if they'd want to spend it here. They do! Oh, well, they do. Ah. And they pay for it. I, I kind of like that, because Warp was one running out of blood, so if, if Valkyrie hits that burst, they were going to have a pretty decent chance, but... The fireworks imminent. Venom 2D. Warp out the burst, but... Can't get anything out of it. Another classic one, just a Soul 2D. Tends to go under a lot of stuff, but Venom 2D also. Low profiling bursts. Specifically gold burst. Yep. So I think in this game too, they go a bit higher than blue burst. Yo, that RC. That's a uh, cookie, but no convert. Sorry, not RC, risk the is risk. Cool. Yeah. Risk kinda well, lit. Kinda just eating the goal. And that's gonna be out of mode. <laughs> We've the charge stinger, but I'm getting a surprise. <laughs> It was double head morbid. Almost that double head morbid. I don't yeah. remember when I move names. Yeah, double head morbid. <laughs> that move you don't see all too often. It's like in in a lot of. Uh, it's guilty. unsafe, but it's kind of a. Uh, a check or something. Yeah, it, it has interesting properties. It's kind of like a super fast button that you throw out and maybe use for a chip, at least in Exert. Ooh, finds a good hit. Yep, that's the burst. Ooh, with the burst again. First knockdown. Just knockdown anyway. FP Danzai. Drops the combo. Oh, that was a weird key grab. Again, low profile enough to go through the balls. Now again, desperately needs that refill of blood. This should be it. Yep. Yeah. It's close to kill. Uh, oh, they didn't, wouldn't drop it. it. <laughs> IAD jump heavy, I think. I don't know. Mode air buttons. One one of the really big ones that beats six speed for some reason. Ooh, ooh. That doesn't should have been a lot of them. Yeah, it doesn't quite get the pick up on the ground, but again, reset into an instant air dash. The only tool that Valkyrie has found any success with, as far as anti anti air go, is those preemptive six heavies. But again. If you gotta be preemptive for your anti-air, it's not good. Oh, oh, really avoid that. FB Stinger, the homie, didn't <laughs> help this time. One of the few times I've ever seen FB Stinger not delivering. It is like one of those tools that doesn't necessarily do a whole lot of you in terms of damage, but it is, it is a very nice insurance. It's kind of like the space on the ground is sort of out of limits for the next what, 60 frames or so? Yeah. That's pretty six heavy. Should be a second knockdown. That's strong, unfortunately. Yeah, important reversal for warp to score. Doesn't have 50 warp meter yet, have though. meter yet, yeah. They need to exit the mode some other way. Well, now they do have some. Yeah, that's one of... Yeah, that's punishable, but... I have to kind of pay the price. Warp stood up so early for the new nice! And why is the loop as well? Ah, oh, but this drops it. I guess there are Venom boxes there. Oh, that's a dangerous place to block. Yeah, they're dead. That, that point when like you desperately need a refill or exit the mode, you drop the combo. Yeah, we've, we've all been there. Yeah, gets <laughs> creep trying to entire a bind mode. Yeah, luckily those tray balls don't really hard knock down you very easily, so. Just one knockdown. I still need one more. Oh, that's... I get it here. Or not. Just think? 
Are they gonna exit? Oh, that look. Wait, what happened there? That was uh, that was kind of fun. They like exited mode and did that. Yo, comeback chance? I thought that the FB match struggle like it, but it didn't do anything. Yeah, it was getting... Did it trade or something? I don't know what it, happened. There. Maybe... It looked really weird. Maybe OTG? I... I blinked and I missed it. That's... That's ACPR like, like for you. Uh, only the first or second hit like hit and did like nothing. That was really weird. Just uh, need to check the tapes for what the hell happened there. That FB match struggle is also a pretty decent starter, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, the completely missed the ah, ball set. Looks kind of good. Went behind, got the hit, but didn't manage to convert into a combo. Very little blood left. Activate. Need to activate. No, he doesn't get to activate. Oh, okay. I guess best out of worst situation, the ball ends up resetting you out of the the super motion. Mode again. Mm, there we go. FP Stinger, the homie. Yeah. Or kind of just face tanking the hits. The double edge self damage coming into play there. If you manage to find like small breathing room gap in the string, you could find like a far slash or a 2S or just like a Stinger and just knock up out of it when she's like one hit point. That's it. Oh, again, very nice. nice. Throw. That's enough. And a mix up, another knockdown, mix up. Potentially that dead here. Be. Well, they don't get the. Should get the knockdown. Oh, okay. That's strong. Looks still pretty decent for Valkyrie. Right, another oh, in the corner, though, once again. That we sting and block. Six heavy. Yo, that's. And that's kill. That's kind of nice that six heavy just. Causes like a simple heart knockdown, no matter like what spacing you are at. Yeah. And you kind of get to set up for your pressure. Yeah, not not like a super threatening button usually, because like what you're you're eating a little bit of damage and venom doesn't necessarily get the best setup. But as Abba, you really gotta respect that to some extent. Basically one third of your life if you think about it. Nice, was a little late with the 6P, but still manages to tag on the landing. Has the meter. Yep, Warp loves that one. This time not close enough to get a throw. Ooh, getting a throw of their own. Okay, instant first. Yeah, smart. They had basically still blinking. Yeah, again, look at that, the self-damage piling up. Warp! And the single left B stinger finishes it. Man, that is rough. But I guess that's like, you kind of sometimes want to, like, even if you have a good flow going, you might want to exit the mode to get a oh, couple oh, of hit points. Oh, yeah. Very low on blood. And just exits. It's a little life back. Activates manually. All right, no decision. blood packs left. They will get near for Gogumoro, huh? If they don't die like right now. <laughs> yeah. And that's uh, actually that's... it. Yep, that's seven. But towards the end there, the self damage of Morohat is just came into play so much. And yeah, they couldn't get the big hits into like 70% kill. that ABBA kind of needs to fight against the self-damage. Yeah, it is like... You don't really want to return to neutral, especially right. against a character like Venom that can easily threaten lots of stray hits into damage that kills you. It's like ABBA has pretty decent amount of plus frames, should be able to hang on to... like, pretty much stay glued to your opponent most of the time, but... I mean, eventually there will be a gap. And if you haven't activated anywhere between those combos, then chances are you are very, very low in life. 
I really didn't go for I case, so I guess not sure how much time Venom has, like of a Gooby knockdown. Yeah, that's always an interesting question whether it's just that the player hasn't necessarily adjusted to the meta game against ABBA perfectly, or if it's just you know hard to IK overall, so they don't even try to go for it. I mean. Venom probably has like time for IK if they like do a FRC dash closer activate out of it when it knocks down. So Valkyrie, I guess, smartly went for the safe option, which just has to charge a stinger ball. Yeah, I I, I, I respect that. Combo. I respect that. It's a safe option if you're not sure, because if you just try to go for it and you don't know that like the Abba gets off really fast from that knockdown and <laughs> you're like still at the very end of your activation and they recover from the Suka motion. It's kind of bad. Alright, next matchup we got our Finnish boy Lazarov Robo versus Drive Zero Milia from Hungary. I think Lazarov... I imagine this is going to be a bit annoying for Drive Zero since Robokai is annoying to combo. Yeah. For a lot of characters. And especially for Amelia. Really heavy. Yeah. For Amelia, it ends up mattering a lot because your combos are kind of long. So if you drop your combos very early, you're not going to get that damage in. And more, most importantly, you're not going to get that hard knockdown in for your set play. And I would like initial prediction. I, I guess I would put Lazarov as the uh, sort of the more experienced player. Maybe I, I I don't think experienced is the right word, but Drive Zero definitely quite a long time. Yeah, Drive Zero would probably be the underdog here. Oh, oh that hit behind. <laughs> would have done a combo off of that too. Okay, yeah, they also, can do that. Also that. That's gonna be annoying for Milia. Because like, once you set it, it's gonna be there and you're not gonna set up Tandem Top for... again for a while. Unless you like, read it, then you can easily get the Tandem Top. Oh, they decked out of that. Dangerous. Ooh, well, nice I think fight. they... probably wanted... Uh, Oh, they <laughs> died out of the dead angle. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's... Go, good garden. Hell, I injured. Oh, that was definitely a throw. Nice. Let's just set up. Pressure the five pin high attack level. Or whatever the terms were. With air throw. Ready for it. Again. Again. I mean. It's as they yo that wait that nullified the pin. Yeah, too heavy. That's nullified pretty... the pin. Holy shit, that's good. I mean, I guess if if Drive Zero sort of lands a strike while they're coming down, it's dangerous. But it's definitely a tool. Okay, first. Also, I wonder the FB tandem pop. Will it stay active long enough to catch the like delayed wake up timing if you're trying to catch both those timings? Not sure. I guess we'll we'll see. Nice, giving a big throw. Oh, combo. combo. Oh, interesting. Too heavy. Next to R button, five heavy, fast button, but kind of unsafe without meter. Nice, dashing in for the whiff punish against that six P. Also over the two heavy. Oh, that nice. was a correct. Okay. Lucky for Lazarov! Not managing to get the air for this time. Oh, but that's, oh just think <gasps> that angle. I think they're dead, yeah. Very nice. Drive Zero did get a burst back out of that throw, but Lazarov smartly cancelling into the super. Making the burst completely unavailable. Lazarov opens it up 1 0 against Drive Zero. <laughs> but it looked pretty. All the rounds were pretty even, and that last one went down to the wire, so... Let's see how it develops from here. 
<laughs> 17 ping to Lazarov. Hey, Finland to Finland. The dreamland. Okay, let's get set up then. FB. Other space or something. Nice. Right, nice escape. Nice again. India, kind of fast. Going over the two heavies. And not too bad of a burst for Drive Zero either. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, unfortunate drop. Half the combo. Yeah. Feeds the delay. Low. That's a fight they couldn't really get a <laughs> confirm out of it. To the robot guys. Wait. Or how fast he falls down. Nice. Should be kill. Yeah. The counter hit. Jump slash. Getting a clean combo. Oh, interesting round start. That works out too. Gets the corner. Oh, misses the dash there. Dash 2P has been the... Has been the code too. Nice 5P. In 2. Ah, uh, drops it. Well, at least luckily gets uh, a lot of the damage done. Yeah. Uh-oh! Oh, that's a... Yo, that's a lot of damage and probably a lot of stun as well. Yeah. Swift escape from the corner, though. The uh, two heavies gonna come back. Okay, it's whipped completely. Ah, wrong side. But misses the DP! That's dangerous. Dead angle. That's a nice hit. That's a good chunk of damage. Nelia health. Oh, wait, was that self? That was self explosion. Yeah. That was kind of funky. Look. Look, kind of like Drive Zero might have been, maybe in some universe, able to pick that up. That would have been sick. Elf of Grenade type beat. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you could consider that like a combo breaker as well. Depending at which point you get the self-explosion. The good old sign self-explosion that was basically a burst. Nice with punishing the 2D. Oh, but the <laughs> <laughs> came back and saved the day. Yeah, had enough heat there. In the super. Combo for that too. Knocked down. Too heavy once again. So it's a projectile, you have to FD block it in the air. Oh, we missed the pass there. Oh. Interesting sh movement from both players there. Completely avoiding each other. Nice for Drive Zero ends up uh, landing on the right side. Oh, TK DP! Overhead, by the way. Really, TK? <laughs> they were barely off the ground. Yeah, as we've punishable, the recovery of 6P. So far the 6P hasn't been able to catch much of Drive Zero's air movement. The two heavy has pretty much been the tool of choice here. Oh, that's the six heavy. Start up from Robo. He's trying to desperately transition into a lot of resets, but... Oh, oh, my, let's get the corner. Jumps into it. That was a really brave garden setup. Yeah, and Lazarov was pretty much ready, ready for it with that horsey. Oh, the DP. Is that enough? Not quite. Bates to throw. Who? Don't have to be flat fancy. Just you know, very strive-like maneuvering around the throw. Just. Jump and we've punished the yeah. recovery with your own true. Yeah, and you can't set up another because it's still going. Nice 5p. Oh, that weird setup there, 2d. What's up, it's there we go. Knocked down with the pin. Close. 
the random dust in this block. And unfortunately they deck out. Ooh, had an opportunity of that counter hit, but... You know, air to air, them air to air pickups. Yeah, the downside of that too heavy, like, it does have a pretty decent hitbox, but it's, it is so slow and... Drive zero, just most of the situation... Oh, Ooh, how far did that hit back? Hello? Yeah, they kind of get to do a mix up here. Just pressure. Uh, Ooh, that was a chunky hit. We're going again. Why not? Mazar really loves that at the end of the rounds. Mm, Ooh, basically, that to play with near infinite meter. They died because of it though. <laughs> the self explosion, putting them into the disc. If there's something to be said about like Drive Zero's fundamentals, they're so good at landing. Oh, hello, combos. All right. We got the corner. The extension. Too heavy. Oh, that somehow we. Yeah, that the install is pretty good though. It gives you. Lots of speed, and you basically just gain passive meter constantly. And you can't overheat, explode. Lazarov domi dominating the space, doesn't let Drive Zero pick up the pin, it's now off screen. Oh, they didn't want that 2D OP Judo. Ooh, was way too close there. But another really good air throw from Lazarov. Keep the corner, yeah, hitbox, even though it's a slow, slow one. There's a heat miss, huh? yeah. We've punished the two heavy. Oh, that's a big one. That's, yeah, that's there. Didn't even have time to react. <laughs> yeah, Drive Zero was like, wait, I'm dead and didn't have time to burst. But also didn't have a lot of good options left there. It's like, especially after a big counter hits, there's so much like on tech time. And usually the opponent gets such a big ground bounce that they can they can actually wait for quite a while and check if you want to burst or not. So yeah, probably went with their gut instinct and not burst immediately after the big counter hit, but it was Life-wise was a little too late, unfortunately. A garden. Nice, yeah. Lazarov is very active with that too heavy, considering... I, I, I mean, justifiably so, because Drive Zero is very active in the air. But that opens him up to getting whiff punished on the ground if Drive Zero doesn't jump. Yeah. Ooh, really cool. Full nice. combo. And there was the thing that's <gasps> called Oi Chicky or whatever. <laughs> the, I think that did it. Uh. Yo, Lazaro, why are you so clean with those air throws? Oh, <laughs> did that come comp <laughs> with the missiles? <laughs> that looked pretty funny. It's the too heavy launch into the too heavy that came back. Yeah, completely waste uh, FB. This with, uh, Runs under the DP. I guess. Robo DP seems to have same problems as Kai, whereas it hits like hits upwards. Oh, well, it Be careful here. One hit is all that it takes. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, freeze. Mind the throw. Roll throw. Now they rolled under the DP, I guess. Low mix up. Another low, just gets hit. Yeah, Lazaro kinda of having to hold it there. Huge movement? Trying to avoid the entire timing of Drive Zero. Yeah, that's a punish. That mix up low once again. Finds the throw. Okay, dead angles. Bin. Yeah, dead angle, kind of good. <laughs> they ah. just it just knocks you down, right next to her. Could that's be a, a kill. Yeah. That's a pretty, 
pretty decent uh, observation as well. If you do the delayed wake up and Milia reads you, could potentially have time to set up a really good garden. Yeah. Get some extra mix-ups out. Guess that's a risk you run with it. If it does work for you, Minya basically completely wastes her disc hockey on you. There's a lot of finding an empty low. Who misses that? Dash for the command grab. That drives you robust, jumping anyways. That's pressure. Pin working out. Combos into a throw. Oh, that hit OTG. That's unfortunate. Ooh, sneaky. No good position for Drive Zero. Unfortunately, dropping the combo, but managing to still keep Lazarov somehow cornered. Yo, that was a lot of weird interactions there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just burst. Oh, I like that idea, because the missiles have been coming back, so Drive Zero instead plans the hit and combos into a roll to get a better position for their pressure. And both use their burst. Again, that last bit of health. Good okay. prediction. Oh! What that to punish. That was the right read for Drive Zero, but didn't quite get there in time to punish the throw. Big throw. Drops the combo. Punch another way in. FP to get a more damage on the combo. Drop once again though, unfortunately. Yeah, Garden doing work. Kind of neutral yeah, trade. I got 6p. I think Lazarov will happily take that trade against Garden to sort of nullify the potential. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Six frames. Yeah, doesn't want to have anything to do with that. Keep the position. Keep it going. Well, drops the combo, unfortunately, once again. Could it be the first bait? Could we never be. know. damage from this. Lots of hits though, so gonna build a lot of burst meter back. A normal meter as well. It just uses that to set up a garden. Another take throw. Oh, is that enough? And yes. the burst whiffs too. Nice. That's a really good ending there for Drive Zero. Colorado <laughs> is not going to be able to use a burst this game. That's with punish once again. Just attack. Oh, oh. Needs, drops it. Let's do some emer emergency There's venting. There's the missile once again. Finds another throw. Yeah, it's that, that link into the jump slash there. Alright, set them up. Kind of a non-mix up though. 6k is <laughs> over the 2k. I guess that's, uh, that's one downside of that 2k Abare. Kinda easy to go over it, depending on your character's tools. Yeah, unfortunately as well, because in a lot of those situations, Milia kind of wants to do the 6k, because it, it, it is an overhead option. So your 2k is probably not going to triumph over either one of her overhead options. The ba bad moon, obviously, airborne. As well as the 6k. Ooh, that's a nice missile. Sh movement. Yeah, waste it. <laughs> Don't get hit by that. <laughs> Just a 2d. Yeah, even if even if the tandem top is sort of wasted, you still do get a midi timing. Yeah, though you're kind of more vulnerable to DPS and whatnot. For sure. Finds the throw. Set up, they have a lot of meter now, and heat. Okay, roll. Roll seems to be working pretty well from Drive Zero. Okay, I think they were trying to read it this time, but... Ooh! Movement. It's... Oh, tri fast. Tribe Zero was so patient there. Man, I love Tribe Zero's anti-air game. It's like, has... 
think Lazarov hasn't been able to jump in on Drive Zero, like... Almost not at all. And that's a that's a very strong base for, for fundamentals. If your opponent can't abuse you from the air. You already get... Oh, nice. Missile coming back. Oh, but the self-explosion! Lots of spaghetti on the floor. This is gonna be a decent hit. The garden starter. Set it up. I don't know, trying to look for something there from Lazarov, but... Why can it be... Oh, I didn't knock down. Oh, they're close to stun now. It's a level 2 missile. Yo, that could be a robbery. Dead angle. It's a last ditch effort. No, yeah. we've studied me. <laughs> really? Throwing That's everything. Lazarov threw everything and the kitchen sink at Drive Zero there, trying to desperately close out the round, but now ends up biting them in the ass, because no burst for this round. Unless they eat a lot of small hits. Yeah, you're you're kinda right there. Milia does have a lot of hits in their combo, just like combos just like chip. Nice sir, bro. And there's the PKDP. So dirty. Has to block the garden. Okay, delays. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Oh. Who gets thrown out of their hits? <laughs> no, almost jumped into the two heavy. Nice 6 p Yeah, Lost like the you combo, said. Unfortunately. Lazarov actually built that burst back. You what? Go, oh, nice. That was sick. A random slash back on something. <laughs> Not even sure what he slash back there. Ah. Uh. 2k snipes. Lazarov once again in the lead. 43. Yeah, I guess that's the that's the downside of like if you if you can't close out your perfect combos as Melia, you're gonna have to return back to neutral and even like even whiffing that burst in the previous round, Lazarov was able to build a full me burst meter and then some back. Uh oh, Mr. Midi as well. Clean IB was looking for an air throw. Or was wait I was waiting for an air throw there, but. Nice. Oh, he won the air throw there too, but. Jump K. See if they get the knockdown from here. Okay, not really, but they kind of get the pressure situation. Uh oh, oh that was a really bad burst. Some good damage from the dust. Mmm, clean. Yeah, oh, I see, that doesn't really have mean wolves. No, does it? Uh, this time, man, able to almost oh, pull off the combo. Once again. There we go. It seems like the Micro Dash Far Slash. Is it like. I, I think Drive Zero has had more success with that Dash Far Slash pickup after the throw compared to the 2P one. Oh, barely with the air throw there. Oh, that looked like that burst bait. Or just a drop combo. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the eternal question. Who oh, gets clipping by? Oh no, that's a lot of counter hits. Drive Zero probably sort of close to a stun. Doesn't end up mattering here though. Yeah, just dies. It's the fate of pixie characters. It's from Robokai hurts. Not ever like, wait, why am I <laughs> doing garden here? Once yep. again, it's the combo. Of a two. All right, your snipe. Yeah, delay. Not if I miss out with him. There we go. Keeping it keeping it just simple seems to be the solution here for Drive Zero. Ooh, interesting reset into the air. Self explodes. Nice Ooh, this time. time. Yeah. Take out. 
It was about time that Lazarov. Yeah, and there we go. Time he gets to kill himself. And face the burst. burst. No punish. If he, if he doesn't drop here. Oh, he does. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, was too low. I do wonder that tech out of the air into flashback that Lazarov has been doing. I wonder if that's like just a miss input. Because you oh, like. What? Because like when you when you're trying to when you're trying to tech out of what's the what's the slash back input again? Back and slash and heavy slash. Hmm. So like back blitz input from extra. <laughs> yeah, because you you obviously for Guilty Gear games you don't have hold to tech. You sort of gotta like mash your buttons out. So I wonder if out of that air tech mash. Ooh, mash throttle. It's not down. Oh, they were looking for the delay wake up. It's time they delay wake up. Luckily, drive zero. The garden going the wrong way. Yeah, that was very defensive garden. Probably expecting Lazarus right, to. Was prepared for the heat missile. Again, those active frames of Milia 6P right there, right. ready for Lazarov. Ah, oh, that's out. Now they're in the corner. That's the hopeless. Okay, just slow. Too heavy bit too slow there. Activates. Uh oh no! So it is oh but it pays off, luckily. Yeah, doesn't doesn't disappear when Milia gets hit in this game. And the call from Lazar after we got into I guess. Just run with the high speed one from the install to push further away. Ah, oh, this time misses the far slash conversion. Oh, yo, interesting. Nice, can check the roll there. Managed to pick up the pin on the way. That's full meter. Do they get the wall bounce? Oh, no. interesting. Yeah, just nice a clean sweep. Yeah, it's been Drive Zero's primary means of escaping, so Lazaro on the lookout. Strong. As we punish on the 6P, pick up the pin. Punch away. I'm gonna knock down though. Oh, too far away though. there. Ooh, tanks the nice. There's the robo damage routes. That's so funny. Why is heavy FRC? Yeah, it's, it's like heavy FRC. Really close to exploding, yeah, has the emergency vent there. Get some nice mirror from the robot dash. Oh, they were looking for a air throw there. Self awesome. explodes, delay. I guess that self explode was actually brilliant there. Completely able to negate the garden. Oh, yeah, that, that's a dangerous burst. Luckily for Drive Zero, I sort of didn't punish. Here we go. Just dashes into the missile, unfortunate. Air to air missile system activated. All right. Once again, Lazarov one game lead, but. And this has been so, so even. Nice. Oh. That's the corner. That's a big counter hit. Oh, gets stuffed out by five heavy but Another really good whiff punish. A again. Oh, right to reset there. But gold burst from Lodaro. Got a lot of needed to work with here. Ouch. Catches the jump out once again. You have to FD. Nice overhead. Oh, nice. It's a combo. Ah, oh, but then Roger needs also. Far slash there. Wasn't probably ready for the side switch. Oh. Yes, big ADP. <laughs> Million plus frames out of that high hit missile into TKDP. Yeah, bam. Frost up. Yeah, delays. 
correctly this time. Rare footage of 6P actually doing something for Robo. Or rather, Lazaro. Right, right. Yeah, ready Once with again, the win punish. The again. He's gonna explode yep. here. Oh, but. Once or again, not. the gardens are kinda going the wrong way for Drive Zero. Nice, has to pin. Big throw. Now, how does Lazarov want to spend the burst here? They are sitting in a one or have a one round lead here, so lots of different options. Nice, I'm going to cross up. Right, opting to spend. <laughs> Went oh. over the air car. He came in some, but that should be proper kill. Oh, no, but they missed the combo. They self. Nice. One nice. hit for either player. That's pretty clutch. What a show, man! Slash packs the 5k. We punish us with 2s. That yeah, was that, pretty sick. Yeah, that was definitely planned. He was he was looking for that so hard. Oh boy! Aggressive round start here from Razirom. Thrown into the corner, unfortunately. They switch sides. Yeah, bursts out. Yeah, good decision here. Spending the burst. 6k, nice block. And checks the roll with 2s. Nice, again with punish. Oh, not even the garden coming in for a trade there. Yeah, there it is. Good patience of mind. Saw that the missiles might come back. Oh, I see the garden also negates the missile from too heavy. That's instead of auto check that. The snipe with too heavy. Yeah, the anti aircraft system has been activated. Yo, Lazaro. Dude. He's kind of on fire. Lazarov is just flowing here. Set point also. Oh, self explosion. No slashbacks on the self explosion. That's the only way you can <laughs> like guard against it. Oh no. The drops. The drops say it isn't so set point. Yeah, there's the big EP. Oh. It's just the FRC, but it's some small damage. Try Zero's last breath. I think that was another <laughs> big EP, I think. Too heavy zoning, they don't go that far though. Big throw. Important combo. Misses Drops it and dies. Oh. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that drop hurts my soul so much. That was like the one time where you don't want to drop that. Yeah, Robo Kai. It's a bit tricky of a hurt box. But that was still such a good match. I think like a couple of couple of those throw combos properly converted into a knockdown and And with the 6P conversions. Yeah, I Since Drive Zero finds a lot of good 6Ps. Yeah, Tribe Zero's anti-airs are just phenomenal. It's just on point. I think like I can't remember a single jump in that Lazarov actually got in clean. Like, a couple of air-to-airs, you would expect that from Robo hammering in the air, but other than that, like, Drive Zero, like, not super... Like, not, not, not letting, uh, not letting Lazarov get away with uh, a lot of stuff. But, moving on to the next one. Leonard Kai. So two, two players who are kind of new-ish to our event. Leonard has appear, appeared on the screen a couple of times, I think three times now. Very uh, standard-ish stuff. Basic Kai. 
that's not to say ba like the basic here is with great re uh, uh, great re said with great respect I think has their kit really under control all the basics down the basic Kai is pretty strong it's Kai's basic tools are and then, but pretty uh, good in terms of their opponent definitely not standard we got cliff a little no, rare very character non-standard character yeah. kind of both of both of the plus r non-band characters now are kind of non-standard justice and cliff if more of a kind of gimmicky explodey character Let me shoot the players another DM. Let's see what's up. Both players on grey on Discord. Slightly scary. Spooky shit. We could try... Our players are aware they have a set to play. <laughs> yeah, that's always the classic. It's uh, sometimes for the set to see that you're playing, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, or sometimes you just don't see the ping. I know, like, the, the most dangerous thing for me is when I wake up in the morning, if, if, if the first thing I do, do is... You wake up, up in the morning? <laughs> that's, a, that's arguable. Sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. But, like, first thing in the morning, pick up the phone, check your DMs and pings, and just sort of browse through all of them. You might, if, if the announcement is sort of has been done overnight, there's a, like a 50-50 chance that I actually forget that I browsed through this particular ping. <laughs> Waking up in the morning, kind of cringe, am I right? Sounds like some sheep shit. I mean, I can barely wake up for my own Guilty Gear casts. <laughs> Today, once again, with three hours of sleep at night. Hey, we've been doing this for a couple of years. Ain't no big thing. Well, I think we should probably do Mariox versus Olive Oil first. Mm. There's no sign of... If, the, you know, if Leonard and Slackmage both are missing in action. <laughs> I think both Mariox and Oily are here.
Right, olive oil is on the way. And Mario said that give them three minutes and they'll be ready. All right. The sure, sure. Chat. All right, so instead, Ino versus... What's her face? May. You know, it's gonna melt if Olive Oily finds good hits. Yeah, this is a bad matchup for, you know, one of her worst. What is it that makes it, like, not super playable for, you know, exactly? Mm -hmm. It's mostly just that May can kind of just do things. Probably like just able to just bully your way in. And just get... do her stuff with her buttons and Vina gets hit. She <laughs> kind of dies. Yeah. Playing... It's not as horrible as it was in base AC. But it's still not good for you know. Yeah, the risk reward is definitely. At least that's what I remember reading from like Dust Loop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ages ago. At least against the. About the AC that basically may just doesn't really need meter to just do her stuff. It's always nice when. And Dino needs all the meter. Yeah. So may like in AC, may can just hit one six P. Doesn't even need to be charged and convert into like damage almost stuns in and stuff. It's a bit better in plus zone, since Ina is a lot, I think, kind of stronger than base AC Ina. A A5 heavy into 300 damage, yeah, I think that's the <laughs> matchup, basically, in AC. It is unfortunate if the round ends off basically one hit. Always good if you can just, like, instantly die from round start. You sort of have to consider like how, what, what's my plan against that? Can I can I whiff punish that? I usually like I I think, may, five heavies in all guilty gear games are whiff punishable. Not the easiest button to whiff punish though. Especially since you can't whiff punish with chemical love. Yeah. Since may can't be hit by chemical love, even when she's standing. Oh, that 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 makes kind of sense. So if 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 that's a thing, then that's probably a. Pretty big matchup advantage for for uh, May because that Kemi is kind of kind of important for your neutral poking. Yeah, there's a few characters in Plus R that can't be hit by chemical up in understanding. Faust, of course, he does get hit when he does like stuff that makes him go higher. Bike can just completely. <laughs> Can stand still, walk, dash, doesn't hit her. Same with Zappa, May, and Cliff, of course. Yeah, you just completely, like, lose the opportunity to, like, to establish your your basic, like, footsies RPS, as you know, if you don't have that full screen hit available. Like, you know, neutral already is pretty hecking committal. Anyways, while we're waiting, I'm gonna go grab some more drink. All right, that, oh, 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 all, mix between all right and okie dokie. Ori dokie. I guess since we have a sort of silent moment here still, my shout out our event tomorrow. So Exert, the other old game, we've got a series of um, sort of like a big set of events coming out, rolling out the next couple of months. Whereas, so we are basically doing FD5s every first and last Saturday of the month. And then in the middle of the month, we're gonna hold a just normal, normal tournament bracket. 
Uh, every single one of those matches you you get points for the leaderboard and at the end of all this all, all this uh, the players who gathered most points are gonna collect their prize money and I'm not I'm not 100% sure how much money is currently on the pot but it, it is gonna be a decent amount I think and put a decent base um, base amount in there and then we're of course gonna collect a little bit here and there from Macherino. So first one of those Exit Archive FT7s tomorrow I believe 6.30? The message says Exit Archives FT5. Which one is it? Oh did I say FT7? Yeah. FT5, yeah. FT5 is the right information. I'm too okay, I'm too Marius. used to, I'm too used to running my usual shit. But yeah, those are gonna be FT5s. That's for Exert. We're still in the ACPR front here. Mariox, Eno, from Croatia. And just Olive Oily. The May player from Netherlands. Mariox has been one of those players who has made significant progress in my yeah, eyes. They've been, they've been grinding a lot. Like the difference between now and maybe a year ago is is massive, but then again, a massive player. Is that is that the right way to say? It? Olive Oily is, she's she's a very decent player. Haven't seen like too many matches from her, but so far, super solid performance. Good anti-air there and the low profile thing gets the oh but. Yes, that's a mating. Whiffs. Uh oh. That's a lot of that's damage. Good damage. No knockdown, but. Oh, oh. Way. That's that's weird. And there's the fake out in the kill. Yeah, May definitely has some weird momentum things going on. With the air dolphins. Ooh, oh that... <laughs> that wasn't probably what they wanted. Yes, but yeah, that's can make a lot of just whiffs. Ouch! Oh, they dropped the, dropped the combo. Get the extension. Makes this the 5 feet there. Yeah, close to stun. There's the stun. Death. Can't burst. That's a pretty, pretty good showcase of how this matchup can go. <laughs> yeah, it's not good for you, know. I like... One hit, one hit deals so much damage. Oh, do we have some connection problems? Oh, or... that would be unfortunate. At least for, you know, from your perspective, the pings are okay, both of them. But I mean, weird. routing magic. Yeah. If, like, usually routing to Finland is pretty okay, unless it's like, I don't know, from like Siberia or France or something. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. And then that doesn't guarantee, even if they have decent routing to, to me, that doesn't mean they have decent routing between each other. Yeah. Although, Croatia to Netherlands should be <laughs> a smaller distance. Yeah, but that's... And that's... <laughs> again, there's the black hole that is Germany in the... <laughs> Right. Middle, which I, at least from what I've heard from German people, the internet connection there can be kind of 50 50. Mm -mm. So I don't know what kind of stuff happens between the Netherlands Croatia routing. Let's hope it's better now, whatever. Mario actually is there. Big throw. Get Not stone this time. What's the mix? Nice, goes for a FDZ. You don't really use that in this game much. Oh, that was unfortunate. Fast throw. 
at least 2D chemical love works on which is nice. That's a no fucking. Good FD block from Olive Oil. LTG hit. Ooh, okay. Oh, they got whatever they were trying to do. Ooh, getting into a dangerous territory. Oh, no, gets hit by that. Could be. I wonder if they were baiting burst. Yeah, probably. Oh, this movement! And the burst made oh. it! That was, that was great for Mariox. Would've been unfortunate to lose the round there. Mariox was yeah. working on that win for a long time. Ouch. Oh, just click from the power. Right. Back in the throw. Had to go for a funky mix up, but only while pressing buttons. Each movement. Oh, that was dangerous though. There's the counter hit five heavy, the one, the fabled. Ooh, it's the nice that? They were doing some sort of. Ah, uh, misses the chemical lock. Low profile, I think. Oh, where dash is in the dolphin, unfortunately. Become a hitbox. Air to air. Okay, just eating notes. Oh. One hit notes. Don't really do much. Oh, luckily that wasn't a heavy knockdown. Oh, it's kind of a hitbox. Pressure. Once again. Come and grab. Drops the combo. They're picking it up a bit too high. Green stamp below. Check. Oh, that was a cross up, yeah. Oh, that's the hit. Still hit. Oh, I nice. <laughs> checked that no. Good air throw. Oh. oh no! Yeah, that's gonna be that's it. That's death. Just throws it out. Infinite hyper armor. Such a weird super. It's like. I don't think there's many other supers like that in in like any fighting game that just keeps going infinitely with their their um, like the inv frames of the move and then also getting plus frames at the end. But still bad connection yeah. spiking. It's unfortunate. I wonder what's what's the issue. Yeah, it's. I mean, it is it is mm. online. It is what it is. If it's if it's not playable, then we definitely shouldn't force it. So I guess, I guess we're, we're yeah. I guess we're not gonna game this one out today. Zet is always ready to play. I guess we can. Yeah, we can. We could do, do that. something with that. We could do that if Olive Oily is. Is game. Unfortunate, I wanted to see this matchup being played. There's routing magic, I guess, so. Or something is fucked up, so. Yeah, there are like so many different possibilities what it could be. Probably not up to the players and their their setups. But internet magic. Olive Oil are gonna check their connection as well. Based. Based on what? 
Faxed. Fa 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 facts. Faxes. Based on facts. You don't have any idea how powerful my fax machine is. I learned from the best, aka the Japanese people. The fax machine is, sh is so strong. <clears throat> Anyway, what do we have here? What, what's this? What's this? Woo woo. woo. So yeah, versus testament. Hmm. I mean, I guess we can watch this while the players are trying to figure it out. Also, any word from the third set players? Uh, nope. <laughs> Oof, oh. Check there. Yeah, two S. Pretty good button from Mr. Testament. Does Testament, have, does Testament have any bad buttons? Hmm. I mean, I guess Testament is one of those characters who has like, like rather specialized buttons. None of them are, none of them are bad, but some of them are definitely not the most optimal for, like, defense, Habares and stuff. That's not gonna hit. <laughs> Wait, what happened there? Oh, wow. It looked like the... Like the counter move from Testament somehow hit the... Downward Dandy or whatever that air super move was called and completely whiffed on Slayer. <laughs> oh, that's a big counter hit. Yeah, catch this. In the down, pretty okay damage. Ooh, good check there. There's a lot of gaps in in Slayer's pressure, and Bicer gambling there. Spice heal through the minefield. Here we go. No traps in sight. That's a that's a punish. A little weird punish, but we'll 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 take that. It's uh... Puts the poison on them, so I guess it's cool. If these players don't enjoy blocking, well, Slayer players you're a big in general. Slayer, you don't want to block. A wise Japanese once said, how did the classic quote go? You see say, Slayer player blocking as often as like a sea turtle is The birth of a sea turtle? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you start only blocking with Slayer once the opponent shows that you have to block. <laughs> right. And not just squirm your way out of everything. I mean, it's, it's justifiable that the layer one is not blocking because Slayer has such strong uh, RPS options. On, it, it's not, in this game. Yeah. And it's it's not even like straight up Good RPS. Th there's very little that you can actually do on Oki against Slayer if they pull off like FDC jump FD perfectly. Like backdash FDC that is. Yeah, that should have been a... Good read. There was a kind of a punish. Got uh -oh. the combo from Joe. Dangerous. Uh -oh. Should have been dead there. Oh, the two Ooh, heavy <laughs> strike in was. So dumb. I was like, yeah, Slayer doesn't have good Abare buttons, but. <laughs> 
He kind of does it, like very specialized ones. It's just that Slayer kind of. Ooh. Are you going wild? Oh, that's a big Next, one. Uh, oh, misses the IAD. Net. Thank you, Net. Oh, too high. On border. Good job holding the burst, though. For Visor. Yo, that air scoop! Into. Bite. Troll. So many reads. Abara on the six heavy. That should be a punish, not a big one though. We're just moving around. Oh, we moving have straight into the net. In the Twitch chat. So, if it's the same slack mage that is <laughs> playing the set. One out of two players for the next set ready. Now we just need Leonard. Gonna oh. get cursed. He holds the nightmare circular. There it is, oh, the poison. Mm. Reset combo, I guess. Yeah, I guess the idea because when you let, I, hmm. how does it work exactly? So you can, you can hold it, but you can't release it. I think with nightmare There's circular. There's two versions. There's yeah. two versions, you input it with two different buttons. One is instant and one like comes up the yeah. rest set time. Oh, nice avoid there on the... Another... Oh, let's try it. Gets the pick up. Ooh, that's... Hang up her. Yo, what is this combo? Kind Hello? of a custom combo. Just, just punches the man. <laughs> yeah, downside of the Nightmare Circular, it is kind of like it has inbus, but against perfect Not meat, is it too many? Yeah, it can end up. So trading. it's going to trade. Yeah, it was going to trade there, but Ryder was going to die from like one hit, so it didn't matter if it trades. Ooh, nice movement. Avoids the back exa beast and gets a big punish as well. Yo, these combos. When Slayer has the combos, you better be oh. scared. It's the gimmick. That's the corner. We yeah. have the same situation Again, there. look at that. The map actives still hit. Even after the super flash. And it would have traded once again. Does it matter? And <laughs> died from the map by itself. I, I guess like the positive thing is that the nightmare circular usually comes out but like if the trade is not favorable for you especially at the end of the rounds it's like not super good yeah, yeah Maddox is down to play games yeah we'll see we'll see for some reason the connection just didn't play out <laughs> Apparently both of them can play other people just fine, so yeah, internet there is magic. some sort of black hole between their <laughs> connection. Who knows? Nice avoid once again. An immediate burst here. Pretty decent one as well, because Zet was holding a very nice life lead. And if, if, if Zep held that combo and didn't go for the burst, would have been a subject to Testament's shenanigans in the corner. Oh, I guess we need an opponent for Mariox, you see? Yeah. He's hungry for games. I mean, if you're set to play a set, you want to play a set. <laughs> That was the delay one, got thrown, got hits, but Azure doesn't have much health, yeah. QK plus R. Dude, I've it's been eight years since I've played this game. <laughs> uh, who took that round, by the way? Was it Visor? Z1. Okay. That as well. I'm gonna lose my clean zero games played record. Two, one, let's rock. 
Ow. Weiser. That's not honey. You're eating counter hits from Slayer. Okay, burst. Kind of a... Well, I guess they can come back. Oh my god. He's dead. It's not looking good. They can't gut spread, really, but... Pro? Ooh, I was... Another... Oh, okay. That's kind of a win for Weiser. They get the burst out of Zet, even if they lost the round. Yeah, can't really hope to... Small win. Yeah, can't really hope to gain anything more. Uh, Slayer's movement really good with avoiding that <laughs> counter. Just teleport out of the way. Yeah, might actually be like might actually be like a setup to specifically dodge it. Yeah, they are doing like a need to with the fast recovery move. Again! With the dandy avoiding the back exa beast. Too heavy? That's why I should press that ridiculous button move. Yeah, so we punish. Slayer moves in your face and punches you. Yeah, 4 to 1. Yeah, the classic dandy step. A lot of strike invo frames keeps you. Uh, also steps you back. S sort of keeps you safe against a lot of pokes. And then. The pile bunker. A lot of range. Very fast follow up. Not really invo, but it is so hacking fast and has such a good hitbox that. It might oh, as well be an advancing DP. 6p. Yeah, that's going to hurt. <laughs> Immediate burst. Ooh, Ooh, seems nice. like file actually kind of like goes under net and activates it. Seems pretty good. Of course, it's not a move you really want to wish, but... Oh, oh there's a the net. net. Well, luckily finds a jump K that gets rid of the poison. No fear. Small punish. Good check. I'm not punish. One hit. I'm not quite gonna build meter here, yeah. Almost. Straight into the tree there. There's a net. It gets deactivated. Oh, nice air to air. Yeah, you Ooh, can I see. think that OTG hit killed there. Mm -hmm. Good awareness. You could see Visor looking for that Ouch. air trade jump, okay? Jump heavy, big ground balls in this game for a Slayer. Nope. Be a bite. Read, oh my goodness. This should have eaten a bit more damage from there. Well, not looking very good. Cross has that's some pretty good in wolves. Yeah, that yeah, was... That's just... That was pretty much in Visor's head that round. That's another big counter hit. It's late counter hit hurts. Just getting all the right follow-ups with Dandy here. It's the timing. The timing. Yeah, counter is not really working out for White. Had to try. OPG. And another pile. But it's no good. You, it's, it's... Baraki versus Hase recreated. <laughs> <laughs> Not as ridiculous since this is this isn't a C Slayer. AC Slayer a different beast. Good what old five you? heavy just ground bouncing like all always. One of the... I think it just ground bounced without counter hit on. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of rare for a Slayer because usually it's like. Your damage conditions are either spend 50 meter or get a counter hit. I guess it changed into that with the excerpt. <laughs> Just used to be that you get hits, you do damage. Again, dancing through all of those pokes. Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh, it's into the net? Not quite. <gasps> nice punish. Good reaction there on the startup of the. Yeah, that was hella fast. I I kinda wanna say that was a reaction. But we'll never know. Missing the throw. Ah, why is it? going with crosswise. Oh, that was nice. Sick. 
He's just a punish though, which is weird. Because they <laughs> didn't believe in their own success. The flashback. It's like Visor is desperately trying to gain some amount of control, but that is relentless. Yeah, they're not giving any breathing room. What? Oh, hello. I think the idea probably was to go go over and then cross up with the Badlands. Nice air throw. Now we're gonna see DDR Patrick Solomon in the future. What if it's DDR Patrick versus Mariox? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if they're ready to play right away. <laughs> ah, misses the link this time. Getting with the two heavy once again. Good block, six spin. But man, is and it... And through that. Gets the corner with that. Unless. Unless they die. There was a weird drop point there. I've never seen that Badlands loop dropping before. That's a small extension. There's a net. Goes through them. Goes for the easy finisher. Instead of trying the 6 heavy thing. Warrant working this time. And the poison is the corner. Yeah, poison is still big. Okay, it's out. With the full damage from it. Ah, the Zionist kind of ended up cocking, cocking uh, Visor there. Yeah, it seemed like they weren't kind of ready to confirm that way. One more hit. Okay, it's plastic there. Just plug it. Oh, we'll get clipped, and that should be it. Yeah. Good if extension. If Visor doesn't hit a button there, I think that crosswise is gonna miss, but. Yeah, they're gonna get the punish. They pressed something and crosswise is. There's some pretty good invulns, but it is punishable. Yeah, a lot of the dandy follow ups have pretty decent hitboxes overall. And I, I, I guess for, for a good reason, because they're very, very unsafe on block. Even Mappa on IB. Finds the crosswise again. Oh, alright, just do it. Man, how did, yeah. Slayer just dancing through all of these Exa Beasts. No Misses punish the there. No, can't leave that I'm damage on the table. Fight if you try to do a slower button, it's punished. Yo, Don't two get beat. Clips the startup of Badlands. I think that was Badlands. Yeah, that was Badlands. Can't can't mistake that boom, that vacuum cleaner startup sound. Yeah, and there was no force break sound. Oh, just really aggressive. Bates it once again. Yeah, and reads that too and heavy. And I heard with the first safe even. And that's it. That is seven for Z. Not only a strong dizzy player. Wait, it's actually. Wait, is it eight to one? What? <laughs> All right. Does it check like your win streak from other lobbies? It shouldn't. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. That was an entertaining game, so we can't complain. All right, so let's see. I'm impromptu set. So we have Slack Mage here, but Slack yeah, it was seven to one. But Leonard, I think Leonard's still missing. Also, I guess Mariox wants to play, and we need a opponent. It's unfortunately. Mario and Olive Oily can't play each other. 
Slack Mage versus Mariox is uh, a little off skill bracket, I think. Yes. We could play it, but it's a bit. Well, we're waiting for Slack Mage's opponent, Leonard Kai. Missing in action. Earlier we were waiting for both of them, but I guess Slack Mage had internet issues and has them fixed now. Yeah, also we need an opponent for Mariox. Yeah, I think, yeah, Mariox versus Slack Mage would be kind of two different skill brackets going up against each other. Unless Mario. has... know this is the 2P BBU, but we didn't say anything about it. <laughs> but yeah, 2P BBU is pretty... It's a link, right? So it's pretty nice. Yeah, at least, especially like the earlier rounds, it was a... Uh... I think I, I kind of popped off. That was, wasn't that the combo that also ended up side switching once? I forgot, but yeah, there was one. Player has some pretty nice free form stuff he can do at times. One framer, damn. Oh, it's a one framer. It's that tight. Nice. Yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of like true one framers in the game. Yeah, you know, IAD combo with like. Doing the kind of exert combo, five mm -hmm. heavy into IAD, JK gem pass. It's one framer. I think it's on a few characters, it's a two framer. The risk reward. The risk reward for that is too great. I cannot. <laughs> you cannot tempt me. What is popping gamers? Hello, Charta Lord. Lord of Charters. Kind of scouting out. <clears throat> an opponent for Mariox at the moment. Uh, any fighters that feel confident want to fight Mariox? Who, Patrick? Patrick, Solomon, also Charter Lord. Okay, I guess we have gamers. Charter versus Mariox is also not a good max. How come? I think it would be nice. Charter is like kind of a kind of like a king level gamer for sure. Actually, could be interested in seeing Charter versus Mariox. Also Satsu saying they could play. I guess that could work too. Though Satsu is, I guess, rusty. When it comes to plus R currently. Especially since they play cheap and not the <laughs> kind of just go and play character. The yeah, cool, cool thing for Satsu is that like they're pretty much in any Gilded Gear game, they they are one of your go-tos to go for like chip tech. So, I think theoretically they should have chip down pretty mm. well in this game, but it's always the, uh, when it comes to chip, the execution barrier, having the muscle memory to do your difficult stuff, because, as yeah. they say, chip is sort of like a, sort of like a character who's, um, not necessarily for, for you, unless you have a very god tier execution. We have, once again, <laughs> Zed versus someone in the lobby. Please, what, what is this? 
who are these people? Let's uh, let's not jump into. I I I actually want to know who these players are. <laughs> I'm not just gonna take infinite amount of random matchups Ow. on stream. All set. Also dipped out. <laughs> Macro gamers not allowed, I guess. Yeah, I'm not a huge, huge fan of featuring players using third party programs. The defender of all to tech, that's a good one. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's all to tech if you hold down a button and it does frame perfect tech mesh for you, isn't it? It's basically like... So, Mariox, are you interested in playing against Chartalord? He's one of potential opponents for you. So what, are, what were our options? Our options were pretty much Charda, Patrick, Satsu... Okay, Charta is okay. I'm interested in seeing Charta versus Mariox. Yeah, for sh for sure. We could do Mariox versus Charta. DC or Justice? Which one do we want to see? Which one Charter Lord feels more confident playing? I guess Mariox could also <laughs> say which one they want. <laughs> Either is fine. I see. Confident. I see. Brave. I like it. Okay, DC versus Ina. That's uh... interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we we all know the power level of Charles Justice. Yeah, Charles Isaac, gamer. It's not called Charles the Lord for nothing. Curious, what made you pick up DC? Actually, don't really know. <laughs> I guess you want a second character when you play Justice, since Justice is a really polarized matchup character. Yeah, for sure. It's so Better tricky to dominate some characters in neutral, or you get absolutely bullied by some characters because your movement is really bad and your playstyle revolves around setting the nukes. Anyways, can we get the... Or have you... Oh yeah, the... let me enable this. There we go. Yeah, stream so I don't have to watch delay. I think we we did see one of Charda's sort of pocket character matchups recently, I think. Yeah, but with I Sol. Yeah, Sol's Against Psydox Testament. Now let's see what they can do with Dizzy. Very... They've been playing Dizzy quite a lot. Yeah, very different kind of character compared to like... Not just Soul, but especially te uh, Justice. Nice. Goes... Oh, but kind of drops there. Punish there. Good FD from Charter. Oh, misses the staircase, the last jump D. Yeah, that's the risk. Another throw. Yes, the Oki, what is it? Dead angle, doesn't get punished for it, luckily. Unfortunate backdash, ends up dying because of it. No, does have a pretty good fast backdash, but... 
Charlie was ready. Do that punishable, yeah. Yeah, blocks it. Good intercepts it from the sky air to air for Mariax. Nice. Oh, we tie up. I don't know if it misses there. I don't think ready close to stand there if they comboing after VCL. I like him. Actually, it's pretty well fighter in this game. Now it's you know close to stand. Ah, oh, gets clipped by that. They probably tried to do something. No. Like that is good, but in some situations it's pretty bad. <laughs> I feel like it's so fast. Well, this character is kind of like similar is vibes for their their gameplay loop. But DC definitely does nice a little more here. damage. Ooh, unfortunately wastes the farsing. Nice chase. It's the combo. Goes for... And the reset. Oh, but drops the pickup. Would have been... Okay, that's the kill. Nice. Oh, and pop off. <laughs> I'm here to play as well. I guess it's, it's fine to pop off after a successful round like that. It was a perfect song. Nice. Got a good combo there. Nice. It's the difficult link. Oh, but yeah, they missed their super jump there. Oh, that was dangerous. Charter was landing so many IBs there. Finally gets the throw at the end. Go. Oh, that's, that's that doesn't clip, unfortunately. That's I, pretty nice. I thought that nice. was. Nice. I thought that was like super. 200 IQ move from uh, Mariox, trying to they catch the... They do that super yeah. high IQ, but unfortunately. The hitbox on Ultimate for this one isn't as huge as the ends of the animation that mm -hmm. goes out. And also that 5 heavy from DC, I guess isn't as extended as you'd probably think. Yeah. I don't know what the boxes on it are. Okay, try to get some up there. Laser fish, high. Basic extension, goes for the. Oh, that, that's a decent trade for Mariox. Gets thrown for their troubles. Thrown. Good block. Nice blocks. Solid. Oh, gets clipped this time though. Pressure was still going. Good block, can't punish. It's not punishable on normal block. Now, here's a question Is Charter gonna spend the burst? He does. Yeah. Somewhat okay burst since Marit was just doing the HCL FRC, so they kinda lost meter. <gasps> Chanda could have killed there, but jump to is ridiculous air button. And trying the two S as an anti air. The angle that Marit has been going Hi. Up. Oh, unfortunately, Marek's backdash is in the laser field. Trying to get the anti-air. We go another setup. Wow, very, very good defense so far from Mariox against all those setups. Oh, that the left, right. This once again. I mean, eventually you're going to succumb. It's just the natural order of things with pretty much both of these characters. But the nature of the mat the, the mix-ups is a little different. Dizzy Dizzy has like million different layers to her mix-ups, whereas Eno's just very simple to understand. Usually like high low. It's impossible yeah. to see. Stand up there. No. Oh how about as well. A two hit note. OTG hit, unfortunately, for Charda. Couldn't air troll there, just jump to S. <laughs> nice tech chase. It's the burst, but can't really punish. Ooh, That's a punish. Interesting response to stroke the big tree there. Fish gets smacked out. Is the, movement. Is the Necro super true reversal? I think it is, right? 
And it does have animal, but yeah, you can avoid it by not being on the ground. Yeah. And you can uh, jump out of it even after the flash. But if you're doing something on the ground, you get clipped. Good 5 heavy, but wasn't aware for Ready for it hitting. Nice. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Small punish, but it's good. Oh, they somehow, well, somehow it's the fucking super <laughs> input on it. <laughs> they missed the chemical love at one point there. And then they missed the dash. It will be like that when you play, you know? Hard execution. The fake cross up from Charda. Just moving. Fishing, fishing! Okay, snipes. Oh, I wonder Ooh. what that was. Oh, that, that unfortunately uncombo, but. And there they don't hit the. Okay, Whoa. extension. I was gonna say, Chart is gonna get a burst back here, especially since Mariox went for the jump PPP conversion, but the FB dive sealing the Killed deal before. Fast enough, yeah. I mean. Arguably, <clears throat> the jump PP would have been burst safe as well, so it's yeah. not like Charda had a lot of options here. <clears throat> it's, it's up a fish. It's snipe. Man, that looks nice. So spooky with the fish. Super jump too. Yeah, knock down. That's the mix. Unfortunately, gets back dash thrown. It's frustrating when it happens, but <laughs> you have to cover it somehow sometimes. So much damage. Yeah, that's dizzy for you. Goes under, but gets swift punished. Good awareness from Charlie. That's so tempting. Think he didn't FD block there and got chipped out. Super tempting when you know you can kind of slide under with stroke the big tree, but then... Okay. Chart is just ready for it. Nice air drone. You know air drone. Go. Okay, just bursts out. Good burst. Smart to do. Nice, gets a combo out of that too. That's where the full combos. The old TG into FD, you know? Beautiful. Super jump. Nice, yeah, that's kill. Mmm, combo execution extraordinary. Yeah, you know, just damage to do when you hit the combos. Moving, 5k clips. Oh, yeah, that's punishable. Oh, the fake out. Tricky, tricky. Take chase. Charlie was aware that was gonna be that combo. Spends the meter. Okay, tried to go for a reset. Finds the tech chase once again. Good burst from. Pretty Charlie. close to a stun, yeah. Oh, stun, yeah. Luckily, the note didn't hit because <laughs> it's gonna do really little damage and. Actually, be harder to combo from than just getting a normal combo. Now Mariox in the lead. <clears throat> We're developing. Aggressive round move. start from both. Fast flash is unfortunately pretty slow as a button. I think it has a 19 frame startup. But it is pretty strong when you get it out. Especially at the right range. Let's clip. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, they. I wonder if they were still were... recovering from the RC. <clears throat> I mean, there shouldn't be any re recovery on the FRC. Or is there some? I don't know. Probably yeah, just weren't ready to jump out. Better be try trying to queue like the next action already. Yeah, queue this time. Ooh, Charter showing the IBs. Pretty much every single air. Oh. The next step to just is to the FAB and start slashbacking them. <laughs> oh, it's oh, the active. recovery! Shoot him! And the active still there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Put in the corner. Loads of damage. 
Jumps over, punishes. Nice. nice. Perfect nice. angle. Yeah, that's a perfect punish, honey. Just shoot stuff out with meter. A really strong tool, the FB spikes. Yeah, a lot of characters in ACP are... If you don't have, like, I, I think every single character has a pretty decent FB move to just, you know, if you... At if, least one of them, yeah. Yeah, if you just want to throw something out there and don't know how to spend your meter otherwise. I missed the air dash there. Ah. I don't know if cool in a combo. What's the mix? I don't I think they tried to go for a troll reset too. Clip. Nice. Mm, beautiful. Unfortunately, it doesn't get the super jump. This is looking good for Mariox. Catch the back dash! I know. Drop their combo there. You can combo after the SSTBT RC. Nice interception once again with the jump PP, but what's your, what's your conversion if you don't have 25 out of that jump PP? Actually, not sure what. I wonder what... Oh, get stunned. Hello? Oh, I nice stun mash, though. So high up in the air that Mar Mariax had pretty de decent amount of time to mash out of that. Oh, nice. First available for Charda. Oh, that's a bit greedy. And it has to spend it here, right? This is gonna kill. No! Charda believes! Uh, that was a normal dust combo, so it's kinda... Scaled. You know, does have some pretty cool impossible dust combos. Came, came with a little bit of a prize there, holding that burst. I think every character has 460 health, yeah. Or is it 480, 460? Not the 420 that it usually is in <laughs> Guilty Gear. There's a lot of damage. Two combos and uh, Mark is almost dead. Time to bring it back. Nice tech chase once again. Okay. I think he's, he's chasing Charla the burst. Charla didn't fight. Or just do a tech, tech chase. It's pretty strong with Dino since he does have the... Corner. Right. Oh, finally gets it. Well bounce. Both at really low health. It's a knockdown, but note miss time. Charda must Didn't have matter. been. Charda must have been conscious of that. Like that, Mariox was hell hunting for that burst. But I mean, eventually you you gotta fire it yeah. if you wanna use it. <laughs> nice. And the fish is still there. Good awareness from Mario. Yeah, that chases. OTG hit on that though. Nice and iron. Again, not a heavy knockdown. Nice. Trying to maneuver. Oh my goodness. I think Mario's blocked the <laughs> spikes there. He like he hit the fish with the wait, heavy STV there. Oh that was that was probably something else. Maybe FB no? Ooh, last second 2S. Nice second check check. the STB thing. Yeah, you definitely wanna do that. Luckily only ate one hit from the note. It's a throw. Oh no, you know. Oh aggressive run start from Mario. Nice. Oh but Turret box armor at work. <laughs> uh oh, he yeah, that's funny. Here we go. Empty low. Reset in the throw. Another summon. It's the, oh, the bed angle. Charlotte with reads. Oh, Marix did hit the back dash there, but got thrown by Charlotte somehow. Oh, just eats the hit this time. Wonder what they were trying. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out! The mix blender.
she dizzy? How does your mom let you get so many mix-ups with those fishes? Extra dash, aggressive bounce stuff from Charlie. He just gets killed. There's the. Ooh, nice. Wait oh, for a bit. Unfortunate drop. Nice. Looking for the confirm. Aggressive die. They add meter. He stand checks that. Nice. Charlie has been going for the fish summon after 2D. But again, just straight hits from Mariox. There it is. Even if you don't get the clean one, eventually they're gonna succumb, right? Yeah. A really aggressive round to start. <laughs> nice, finds her extra. It's a combo. Mm. Yeah, goes for oh! a reason. That's a big reason. <laughs> That's gonna be really close to a stun. Yeah. Bates it. It's the worst, too. Nice yeah. punish, too. It's an easy kill. That was a round for Mariox. Went for the big double up there for the tech chase. That was like, that was, I think that was just a hard, just hard try on the reset. And I mean, yeah. the best case scenario was that Charles was gonna tech into it and eat a counter hit. Oh, really good punish on the burst. I myself have pretty bad punishes on burst in this game. Should probably lap that shit out. <laughs> A weird hit there. Oh, dives straight into the fish. And the fish came back to the double attacks on the fishes. So strong. Aggressive dive. Didn't spend the meter. Don't be the counter hit here. Ariok still looking for ways to spend that 100 meter they got from the gold burst. Just weren't able to establish any kind of pressure. Base unpunishably. Is that that dive hit Charles feet base pretty much? Yeah. Oh the six heavy tried to throw but <laughs> six heavy and dive is. Oh that's unfortunate there. Oh they're really close to death here. Zoning. It's dangerous. FB not, avoid it. Okay, gets sniped. But the fish it was still there. Can't burst that, you just got <laughs> beaten to death in one hit. This is summons not really like... Her gameplay is not really centered around zoning, but once your opponent is so low health that they pretty much die with one hit, this actually zoning becomes sort of effective when you actually have rewards yeah. behind your summons. Nice air brother. Okay, early burst from Charlie. Again. Oh, the <laughs> gets thrown even on hit there. The jump PPP interception, but not not a whole lot of uh, follow up after that. Nice. nice. Oh, what? I wonder what that was. Still not confident on that. Oh, I think they missed the FRC. Yeah, just wrap it up. Doesn't with... matter. You get okay. The classic jump D delayed another overhead. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, no timings are hard. Two blocks from Jada, but it gets clipped. I think they were trying something there. Oh, this time the tech chase doesn't find I think I saw a node startup, so probably some weird <laughs> missing input from Mario. The pressure. Yeah, they have to burst. Good note aiming, dude. This doesn't look good for Jada, though. Although. Nice. Interception, One they have a chance. Down. Okay, good block from Mariox. They still have burst too, and super. That works. Yeah, Charter was in front of the fish there. Although it doesn't matter since it has three hits and Charter couldn't block. It was pretty much the perfect response there. I guess Charter was so low health already, and you were probably gonna get the plus frames regardless, no matter what Charter does.
Nice blocks. Nice. Alright, it's nice to play the burst. A fish, last hit hits. Ooh, nice! Move meant to escape the corner. But they dive back in there. It's clipped low. <clears throat> yeah, you know, being a little. Uh, like. Slightly weirder character on the movement options. Kinda has to use some of those movement options to become unpredictable. Yeah. Mariok's doing a very good job at, you know, not being in a predictable position it's here. Clipped. That doesn't knock down, but it's a lot of damage. I think that's it. Yeah. Just before Charda gets their burst back. And that's seven. And that's seven. Good shoving from Mariox. Yeah, even if it's Charda's yeah, sub-character. Pretty well played from Charda too. Yeah. Having to kind of play an impromptu set. Big clap to both players. Like, at, like, like you said, at the same time, playing against Charda is not the easiest of tasks. Even if it's their, like, sub-character, because, like, this, this man radiates fundamentals. Is when you got your basic stuff in control, you can you can pretty much play any character, even even in a difficult game like ACPR. I think Charda is just that talented. At the same time, good good shit from Mariox being able to tame the beast. Yeah, really. Well, nicely done there. That combo execution still blows my mind when I see you know players landing the. Uh, the Kemi FRC air dash combo so consistently. Anyways, we still have the mystery of the last set. Leonard still <laughs> missing in action. No, no sign of Leonard. Unfortunate. I wonder why they're missing completely. Yeah, probably just for a guy. Could be. Uh, so... Hmm. Options... Options here. The Slack Mage wanna try to... tackle a different opponent, potentially? Black Mage plays uh, Cliff. It's like a pre-intermediate bracket uh, Cliff. His opponent is Kai, Leonard Kai, but alas, Leonard is nowhere to be seen. On the interwebs. You to play instead. <laughs> Q wants to keep his precious zero games played score. Spoiler, you can't get me on that cabinet, no matter what you tell me. 
I'm not in the mood to play anything right now. <laughs> yeah, and I like kind of. I guess we'll keep it at the uh, one game for Slack Mage. Then the event is done. Yeah. It's I like will I... sign up for next time's plus R event though. Mm -mm. I kind of like to sign up to every other. Or every second. I guess Satsu can play Slack Mage. Satsu gonna yeah. play like on Alt Kai or something. Yeah, that, that could be pretty good. Yes, it could work. We can get this done since it seems like it's no use to. Oh, that one time you FRC just before the command graph, you were. Yeah, it does have the Hover Dash startup, so. Sending Satsu the invite link. Yeah, at least it's it's gonna be semi interesting because I I have no idea. Like if if Satsu was obviously playing his main character, I would say, yeah, Satsu's probably gonna take it pretty hard because they're pretty they played this game quite a bit and they've reached the. Uh, Fundamentals are strong. Yeah, but if but if Satsu plays on a sub character, especially I don't think Satsu has like a super strong Kai in this game. Has has Kai in Exert? Yep, and I think in Strive. And Kai as is well, question mark. Kai in this game is a bit different. A bit more overall difficult character to play. Super effectively. Compared Neat. to like Exert. Alright, uh, let me give you the lobby as well because we remade it. Sending you a DM. There we go. <clears throat> I guess <laughs> in the end this week's player list turned out to be a bit different yeah we had the first two matches go smoothly but then some delays and no shows luckily we got some extra games too and yeah not too bad in the end yeah and an extra set with jet slayer versus visor testament and due to weird internet shenanigans mariox and olive oil we couldn't really play their match so we got the Mariox Charter Lord sub in set. All right, so I guess we'll we'll have to see if 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 the Kai is what Satsu ends yeah, up going with. He was asking about Kai combos in the chat, so probably that's gonna be the name of the game. <laughs> you can you can still Kai is still Kai. You can get pretty decent amount of value out of just knowing what buttons to press and like i mean in exert the buttons are relatively same or rather they have similar functions stick Com stop working that's not good <laughs> <laughs> classic <laughs> satsu and stick problems name a more iconic duo to be honest he's pretty aggressive on his stick the man's a drummer. I mean, usually it's it's uh, with Satsu, it's problems with you know buttons because he tends to drum on those pretty hard and they get de uh. demolished. Not the stick disconnecting. It is, it is going to be the Kai. But yeah, to Satsu, get... I know Satsu has a sub cliff in this game, so... Mm -hmm. It's not going to be caught by surprise by cliff stuff. 
But it is it is a whole different kind of a deal to know what to do against character and to actually execute it. I mean, it's half of the bot battle, but... I have some menu issues. <laughs> Interface has changed a bit since Satsu has played, actually, when you think about it. Yeah. Hell, I know the struggle. I don't I don't play this game much, so every time I have to maneuver the interface, the UI, it's like, what button do I press again? Act right. like it's the wing dreams. Reload. Lobbies. Was it Wing Dreams? I think it was called Wing Dreams or whatever the PC reload net play thing. Alright, into the last matchup of the evening. Satsukai, Finland, Slack Mage, Cliff from UK. Yeah. Aggressive moving. It's by the counter move. Moving around with Cliff. Ooh, the interception. 6p whiff there. Ooh, finds the DP. Basic Oki stuff. Extends pressure. Three server whiffs. Such a, a weird super. You don't see that very often. Yeah, you don't. But it's like... I'm not sure how you punish that. Seems kind of random how the heat or whatever they are hit. I'll try to hit that, but alas. And this again? It's so weird. Yeah, it's like actually <laughs> fumbled after it. Satsu got pushed out of it, and then it still has so many hits left. And the pillars are random, so it's like, how do I? Can I punish this? Probably not, unless the pillars barely manage to punish on it. Every fighting game player's first or favorite word, random. Yeah. Nice double jump avoids the pendulum. Okay. Basic tie stuff. That blocks it. Yeah. Yes. This time Satsu is like, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with that shit. Nice. Luckily that was a counter hit. It's ever paid. I really not think it goes so high up in the air. I think it's good. Okay, typical DG, so... Patience. I think that's a punish even. At least minus one. If we're doing work. I'm trying Ooh. to FP read so. Oh, they just go through! Oh. Not even clashing with each other. Interesting. This... Normal, like... Stun Edge... Did negate one of them. I wonder if, if... Once they start bouncing on the ground, are they like super low profiled or something? I don't know. <laughs> it looked weird. First time I see that interaction, it was a logical yeah. response from Satsu. It's like, all right, I have a moment. Yeah. Let's put heavy stun edge out there. This is the normal stun edge, like worked out on one of them. There's some weird shenanigans going on. I guess the charge stun edge box. There we see yeah. already Satsu starting to adapt to that. Mid screen yeah. pendulum. Finding the angles. Oh, yeah. did you hit? Okay. Patience. Oh, that bounced so high up, what the hell? Yeah, look at that. Yep. Yeah. That's now how that move works. Definitely. Yeah, one thing that Satsu is known for is his ability to analyze what's going on in the screen on the screen and finding responses. Nice. I got too much damage out of it. Oh, 2D. Ooh, going wild. Oh, he's too savvy. 
Faith hit boxes down. It's an annoying to combo. Up. Punish. Is that a true punish? It should be. I think that is quite minus. Yeah, it, it does seem like a move that could. Whoa, what is this? Wait, you can, you can hold it? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know that. Or maybe I've seen that, but I forgot I need to say thing. <laughs> Legend never seen that before. Oh. Interesting combo. Jumps over. Yeah, there we go. Uh -oh. Could have been worried oh, about pushing himself into the no, super. Still. A dash. That should be a punish. Yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Satsu has not used tree heavy yet. I wonder if he remembers its existence. <laughs> More combo. Block. That's a clip in the end though. Still hits. That's still OTG. <laughs> That's OTG. And he does a black face, so. Ooh, tried to go for a tricky one. Because probably the best for Satsu to try to try to keep uh keep the combos to uh, as as uh, as easy as possible. Yeah, we're not gonna see like <laughs> Extensions with stun edge, FRC dashes and whatnot. He's quite a nice interception. Lucky doesn't get the combo though. Good chase attempt. Ooh. If this Okay, that's not gonna do any damage since it's Gold Burst starter. What is dangerous of that is the FB instant stun thing. Ooh, right, right. Oh, oh he no, no. Round, he wanted a DP. You definitely want the DP. Is that up for the overhead? Oh! oh he's a trade, does it kill? It's dangerous. Nice to snipe. Do that ah, nice. Yes. Jump up, jump K. That was kind of funky as well, because the, the other time when Satsu landed next to Slack Mage doing the super, he got the throw. Me. So yeah. might have been thinking that, all right, so if I land point blank, I can get a button in. But that time, the button just ended up trading with the super. Yeah. I guess there's like, kinda dead zone-ish, but not yeah, too big one. Yeah, the are random, so... Right, 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 right. Again, that that word. Nice punish this time, too, at start. Unluckily, once again, messed up the DP input. And you DP can really see... Satsu sort of oh. evolving here. Page. Oh. oh, when there's the taking the back. That's like the most optimal time to get the back pains. Oh, that was a cross up. Misses the dash. Yo, what? Let's not slow down. Oh, misses the five three combos. Ouch! That's a nasty hit. Dude, I, th I think I don't see clip 6p very often. I was like, what move is that? It's a bit weird, and you can like hold it. Oh, that's gimmick. I just have to forget how that works. Oh, what? <laughs> a neutral, it's... neutral taunt. Dash macro from Stripe. It could be actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had to actually mention that when he like wants to play Exert or this game too that he he has the. <laughs> Dash macro in the same place he has taunt in these games. Yeah, you wouldn't think like the dash macro is very prominent, but it's, it's it is actually like it's so useful. So it becomes second nature for stripe players very fast. Oh, nice. Black bait. Much not on point with his text, but then again, teching in this game is a, it's Fair hard. Enough. Not quite. Yeah. Ah, oh, the trade. Satsu was sitting on that meter for so long. In the end, didn't get to use much. Nice, that combo. Didn't do it too much, but that was a bit too early. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Satsu kind of DPs that on reaction when he sees Slack Mage winding up for that big overhead swing. Good win. Oh, that was serious. That's funny, isn't it? Chop is doing work, but... That's built a weird-ass stun-like thing. Oh, this is looking dangerous. He missed the uh, parsing. Let's hit by it. Like Satsu. He's not sure how that super works. <laughs> I wonder if... remember. Yeah, I wonder if that's full invo or if you could throw it too on startup. It's a weird ass super. Would have to pull out the frame data for that one. I mean, a lot of lot of supers in in this game are like, you can throw them, but if you block them, they're pretty safe. I miss a steep in, but once again. It's One hard. For stun? Oh, this time gets the DP. I don't know what they're looking for. And that's a punish, especially with their box. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think he was looking for a first? panic burst. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, that wasn't. I could do the follow up and never see it, but. Not sure if Satsu knows the timing. Oh, Chop goes through that too. Oh, of course, it does strike in wall. Some okay damage. Switch sides. <laughs> Unfortunately, RC did. it. Oh, that hit. Satsu is hunting for that one more hit. Fortunately, spends his burst. Also, does Sats remember the existence of... Nice air clear. The FBJD. Could be that he doesn't remember being a thing. Or what the input is. Yeah. It's a fair assumption that Sats is, like doesn't have a lot of the meter burn options in the muscle memory. Yeah, especially since I'm not sure what his Kai experience is in plus side. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I think Satsu probably hasn't played Kai at all in, in Plus R and just goes off Could like, Exert Fundamentals. Could be. <laughs> then again, he's aware not to do 6 heavy meaty, since 3 heavy is the button where... Kind Yo! What? Rev 2, 6 heavy comes from. Nice JD once again. That's another, another response to the Nape Saddle. I think it's the name of that move. I don't remember like any of its move names. Just call them like what they look like about. That's an unfortunate. Oh, oh. No. I think that. Oh, I think <laughs> that Stun Dipper might have actually the... finished it if Satsu didn't RC it. Yeah. And the trade somehow didn't kill it. Safe. Then he did get the air throw, whatever he was trying to do. Strong, small damage, FRC into. into all these Japanese oh. symbols. It stands up for the overhead. Good in. Good Ouch! Down. Very close to death. Get strong once again. Thrown into that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're, you know, they're katakanas. That was Satsu's game to win, but alas, trigger finger on the Stun <laughs> Dipper RC is a bit too itchy. Yeah, I mean, it, it is it is a sort of judgment that you have to make still for Kai in pretty much every Guilty Gear game, because if you land that Stun Dipper hit too close, the second hit is never gonna combo. Do we have any Kai experts in chat? But then again, if you also counter the it... combo notations in the <laughs> Twitch chat, so we can adapt on the fly. <laughs> I guess that's kind of coaching. <laughs> What's our coaching policy? <laughs> that's just big. I, I think he's doing the wrong version of. I mean, 
to be honest, if somebody is a gamer enough to just read notations and pull the pull the combos up in real games, like <laughs> I will 100% allow that. <laughs> that's that's sick. And then again, Satsu is that kind of like very spontaneous gamer that if I had to pick if I had to pick one player who could just look at the combo notations and pull it off on the first try, it would be Satsu. Unless you're putting like Optimo. Right. Shit. The FRCs and stuff. Those need a bit more practice. Unless you accidentally hit the weirdly delayed <laughs> stun edge. Tried to go for the jump D this time, but. Oh, I think he was trying to break that. Ooh, counter hit? Yep. Nice, and that's a knockdown. Unfortunately, it's OTG. Yeah, there is, I guess there there is an option to still re-pick it if you want to go fancy, but you can just be happy with the hard knockdown as well. Good energy there. Okay. Moment. Oh, there JD was already out. Oh, they get bigger if you hold it or something? It looks like it. <laughs> Ooh, <woo? laughs> it gets bigger if you hold it? Mm. Snaptastic 2022? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Satsu with so much meter. What are we gonna use it for? Has been able to draw out this round. Ah. Oh, but gets clipped. As both these characters have pretty decent far hitting hitboxes to sort of just defend your airspace. And then. Audience calls for more greed sever. Damn. Oh nice, that, was that a punish? I think it was, maybe. Oh, that cross. SD thing. Alright, now in a very decent and position. basic, okay stuff. Oh, dash gets slipped. Uh oh. Yo, just raw dust. Oh, that end I heard. Some big hitboxes down there. Oh, indeed, uh... oh, that didn't combo, unfortunately. Hit by the second overhead. 2k into 2d from both characters. Oh, that's Ooh. a big counter here. Well, I think he's going for kind of X-ready combos. Which is kinda kinda okay. I think most of them sort of work in kinda both games. Yeah. Oh we didn't block it probably. Ooh, oh, where's the money? The long leg of the king reaches. Hey, it's the old burst, but it's gold. That was kind of scary. Punish. No punish. Oh, oh once again, again the I'm heavy, working. The cross up, cross up. the burst. There it is. Oh no! Oh, it he he has thrown. used jump K there, and jump K hitbox reaches a little more far. Like like, it, it's 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 upwards instead of downwards. Yeah, I think like jump S would have hit there. Jump heavy probably would have whiffed. Oh man! Ever indeed does lose to that. Ooh, nice. There's the creep sever. It's working. It's pretty well every time. The creep sever has pretty decent hitbox for sort of skipping past your opponent's up array buttons. Next chase. All right. I wonder if that was a <laughs> stride air throw the jump D. Could be. Oh now he's eating. Ah, oh, 
<laughs> the bad men are there. Slack mage. Say. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay. Corner, we go OTG. And they just avoided the dodge, but. The risk reward calculation definitely favoring Slack Mage here. But Satsu is. It's not really. <laughs> doesn't really have proper combos, kind of. Satsu is landing a lot of hits. You would probably say way more hits than Slack Mage, so. Sort of balances out, but again in this situation. Oh, doesn't get the conversion. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God, that should be that it. Should yes, be it. indeed. Yeah, yeah it that works. No matter if it's plus or Rexer. <laughs> to the end to Sacred Edge. Another staple. It's especially at the end of the rounds, like finishing rounds has been fairly difficult for Satsu. Like the mid-match, finds decent hits, does decent damage, but then at the last second Slack Mage sort of seems to power up. Or I wonder if it's Satsu's like sort of inexperience with the character coming into play more. Good yeah, it's good anti-air. Nice the double jump. Into that combo, nice. Oh, the 2k was out already. Yeah. Vacuums into the corner, good for Slack Mage. Oh, what was that? <laughs> and now again, this situation. Double jump, oh, double jump! that uh, You paid it, uh... Night. <gasps> oh, oh no. no! I wonder if Satsu was actually trying to intercept that. But either way, I changed it's character, I guess. Not fading Kai, but mm. Mm, it's well. Usually, we're character locking for these uh, events, so I gotta go with the usual answer: no. <laughs> Wait, both players change his character? Wait, hello? Hello? <laughs> hey. I guess we're doing the switcheroo. Is this real life? Alright, I guess I guess it works. I guess we'll allow it. I will allow it. Alright, Satsu. We Cliff has more experience for sure. Indeed does. Though he probably hasn't played Cliff in quite a while. Probably in you know, like a year. And it has sort of a fun challenge for a Slack Mage to accept. He's like, alright, I'll sh I'll show you how this matchup works from the Kai side. Round start DP. Yes, that's a thing you can do. Nice, very conscious. Missing the arrow throw. The jump oh, that's still it. Okay, yeah, there was. Maybe he made something. I guess Slack Mage is catching on to what Satsu wants to do. I mean, those jumping buttons are very big. Oh, nice punish. Doesn't quite get the Gatling, though. Could be anybody's yeah. round still. Oh! oh, that's burst save. Then again, I think not think that combos like normally, so.
Slack Mage only needs to find one round, but I wonder... Can they do it? Can they stick Going with Kai? Going on our opponents are gonna get just switched characters. Swap their characters here. Manages to recover just in time from that exhaustion. Red trade, definitely in Cliff's favor. And again, Kai yeah. DP. Yeah. Infamously vulnerable against low profiling moves. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay, that remembers that. FRC timing still in the muscle memory. It's not too hard of a FRC timing there. Yeah, he does sub this character. Yeah. In plus R. So he probably hasn't played Cliff in like a year. He still has the timings it seems. Oh man, that range! Is that like jump slash or jump heavy? Uh, which one? I don't... Well, it's hard to describe what button was what. I said it from. Okay, pretty. Calm. And that's it. But I mean, Slack Mage kinda has the same problem as Satsu had on, on Kai. Having difficulties gaining sort of like well, that's not true. I think Satsu was Satsu had like pretty decent control, but was lacking the rewards. Slack mage with Kai no, having a lot of doesn't have like <laughs> any clue if he knows what really to do with the character. Say from what his inputs are. We just don't know. Big fan of pressing Six heavy, it seems. It's a long range button. Man, that button anti airs as well. <laughs> it's is, pretty this, big. is this what big footsies looks like? Oh, that <laughs> came out in time. Interesting. Whoa, Ooh, that's this? clip something. That's gonna be a punish. Back to the Who was fishing for a quick punish there? Ooh, again, trade. Looking at the favor. It's very, very heavy. Hold this. There we go. Find the low. But again, oh. where be the combos? That's the energy. Ooh! He dragged the lightning there. Okay, immediate burst. Forcing out to the burst. Ooh, nice! That's, that's, a, there. that's a very decent advantage. Barely pulling that round off, but this is set point for Slack Mage. And Satsu doesn't have a burst. I think he was looking for an air throw there. It's the combo. <laughs> Saying, come at me, bro. Show me the counterplay. Cross up. The big button. I think the swing is jump heavy in there. Or the like full. <laughs> Rolling like that. Yeah, that's a punish. A pretty good punish. W it looked like there was a clash, but it mostly went over. Ah, I guess even though we got the hit, the exhaustion timing afterwards, big throw. Yeah, go back to basics. Still doable, hey, kind of, but... And there's the IAD. Deck, air dash, button. Cliff unbeatable confirmed. Cliff is so weird. If like if you're not 
if you're not accustomed to playing against Cliff, he can really catch you off guard with a lot of shenanigans. Yeah. Especially if you're playing a character you're not really... Familiar with either, yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of weird variables to this matchup for sure. <laughs> Let me just punish. That's a really, really hard special to punish properly. Nice 2D work, seems. Ooh, good counter. No pick up, though. Satsu, however. Oh, nice. Oh, he I think that was a skill though. I think he probably wanted to go for another of the force break. Or then just the last minute burst bait. It could be. Alright, avoiding the DP again. Poor Kai DP. Always missing. Oh, it's just 2D this time. Imagine Cliff kind of low profile with the lot. Seeing how small he is. Yeah, he was reading that. Pretty good. It's probably a kill. Or he gets the very good setup and overhead. Oh, yeah, I, I, I guess that is an overhead. I was like, did, was that a cross up? <laughs> what happened? I think it's if an overhead. I mean, if I was it playing, is. if I was playing against Cliff there, I would have gotten hit because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> if to be a weird character. Thinking here. Wonder if, things. If Slack Mage will be able to pull off this gambit, would be kind of cool, but starting to look grim. Two more opportunities. Our gamers gonna game. We have not reached seven yet. There we go. Alright, opting to stack, stick with the Kai. Oh well, there is the character select well, where they're going. If they dip from the rematch screen <laughs> or whatever we were waiting for there. Oh, it is. What? Wait, Potemkin. <laughs> Potemkin. All right. Hello. It's getting wild. I guess we'll let it slide this time. This, this was uh, pretty. <laughs> All over weird. Yeah, I mean, if, if we are going for. Since we allowed the characters switch to Satsu, it should be allowed for Slack Mage as well. Nice jump shot of the boss though. Well, it was a good IB, but no throw follow-up. Nice punish. Oh, that... What? Yo, yeah, there's from a boss downtown. <laughs> Back Mega Fist, that was probably a buster. Good thing. That was blo blockable in time. Lots of meter here for Slack Oh, Mage. he missed him, what he wanted to. Oh, that caught the backdash. buttons interrupting the that still hit cliff good trade in terms of like what character you could play potentially day one without mm, much character knowledge is definitely yep. one of them especially seeing how fast cliff actually dies <laughs> Black bait, but we take those. And that interrupted the slide head. Small punish. Escapes the <laughs> just moves out of the situation. Right now, we're nice in the buster coming, so the yeah. Satsu. It's knocked down, but Merfall breaks are hard. They're kind of weird in this game, it feels. Oh my god! He, he's close to stun. He's stunned. Time to mash out fast, Wait, okay. <laughs> that was that was Slack Mage's Slack Mage rose the ground by being a moron, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> that was the set! 
<laughs> that was the set, but he didn't take it. A set, bro. Well, I wonder if that ends up biting him in the ass. Now Satsu has a new Being chance. bad. Drops the combo. Probably not remembering how to really do it. Okay, that wasn't uh, how you punish that. <laughs> Duty. I smell a buster. Yeah, there it was. Oh, but it's OTG. <laughs> That's. Oh. I think he missed heavenly input. Yeah, for sure. That would have been a kill as well. I would have done a lot of damage. Still any 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 gamer's game. And then. Oh, that's a big hit. You could have killed off that, I think. Ah, oh, the RSC. Yeah. to clutch us out. Slack Mage had, <laughs> had the kill a few times, but. 6-6. Six, six. I right. didn't feel like winning. Straight into it. This will decide their destiny. Started out as Cliff versus Kai. No, it's. Potent King versus Cliff. <laughs> and it's not the same Cliff player either. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's and some a loop damage, yeah. Remembers that special indeed. He's gonna get punished. Immediate burst. Nice, nice air throw. I smell a buster. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, with the back hitting it, box of it's, jump heavy. But it's air hit. Nice. Do dare throw once again. And a lot of meter. Wait, so Satsu has no meter. <laughs> where did where his meter go? And again, set oh, point. That. Set point slack mage. Better take it this time. Man, how is this is vacuum throwing from like hell screen? I've watched Guilty Gear for over 10 years and I still get surprised by how far away you can land that buster. QB. Good 6 Not confirmed though. Probably not too experienced with Temkin. Danger zone. We He's gonna yes. put him in the corner, which is kind of dangerous. Has to hold those. Overhead. Big buttons, oh. I think. Oh, that's still traded. He did the weird ass. Oh, no, 6P go. gets smacked. No, <laughs> not finishing his plate. Such a steal an opportunity here. He just built meter for. Where's the FP? Force break. Last pixel. Alright, smart. Just avoid it. Oh, oh, there it is. But alas, I think he got chipped out. Yeah, that's like the perfect option. Zero hit points for Satsu. Normal hit will finish it. Probably normal pluck will finish it too.